through. Gee, I wonder where they're training for. Ted K. Feels good. <laughs> you sure? What the hell's he doing? The leak was in the bathroom, man. Yeah? Uh oh. What is it? I told Willie the solder was no damn good. Now I'm gonna have to make a bigger hole. What? It was just a little leak. Little leaks turn into big leaks. Well, how long is it gonna take? Is it gonna be done before Cormier gets here? I guess. I feel sick all the time. I'm pregnant. I thought it was supposed to go away. Sometimes it doesn't. You're fine. Are there stuff that I should know about? Like what? Stuff that could... You know. What? Cause a miscarriage? It's too late. I just feel sick. We'll live with it. Everybody else does. Bertha. So, uh, when's payday? First you work, then you get paid. Ah. Buck the wood up on site and then haul it back here. Just stack it around the side. Save a bit for your mom. On TV! Take it easy on the truck! TV, band, truck, and a chainsaw? <laughs> it's gotta be cleared. Good for him. Beats the hell out of shoot pool all day. Making that racket. Leon. He's fixing up the detachment. Cormier's coming. Hey. What, this, uh, Labrette shooting? Checking on Michelle? I thought she was cleared. She was. Eric says it's standard procedure after a shooting. But she's okay. It's fine. I gotta get my tools in there. Well, look at the mess. It's okay. We've got time. Michelle, wait a minute. I can't use the water. You gave him the band truck? How else are you gonna haul wood? Hey, it's a few days' work. I'll make a couple bucks. What's wrong with that? Better if Peter hired him. Why? So when he screws up, I won't get blamed? Yeah, maybe he won't screw up. Maybe he'll even enjoy it. He won't enjoy it. Why not? Because you gave him the job. He doesn't like you. That's the point. He's got to see I can do him some good. I'm doing this for us. So we'll get off our case. Yeah, I know. So does he. He doesn't give a shit about me. He just wants me out of the way so he can get in her pants. Why don't you just leave him alone? 
I bet he's over there right now. So what? She likes him. Talk to Sarah yet? What'd she say? It's too late, all right? If it wasn't for you, she'd marry him, you know that? Whoa! I told you to keep the band-aid clean. Cormier is coming and promised Michelle had fixed that leak. Oh, well, that's nice. And now the cut's infected. You read Karen Meyerson and Hay River, right? I don't know. One tablet four times a day. No alcohol. I don't drink anymore. Keep this bandage clean and leave the arm alone for a few days, okay? But I promised Michelle. Leave it alone. Do you understand? Okay. Where's the bedspread? It's being cleaned. Stop worrying. You know, it's standard procedure. I know. He talks to some people. He has a cup of coffee and he goes home. We don't even have any coffee. Well, we'll get some. The point is, you're all right. That's all he needs to know. What's the problem? This mess. We've got time. It's Thursday night. We have dinner? Sure. Your place or mine? Bring a salad. Three beans? Sure. Evening, ladies. Evening. Evening. Three bean salad must be Thursday. Where are you going? I'm having supper at Marie's house. I told you. Oh. Well, did you finish folding the laundry? Yes. Okay, not too late. Hey. Hi, Dylan. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Hi. Alexis and I were uh, boiling some cranberries, so I thought you might like some for dessert. Thanks. I didn't know Alexis was back. Yeah. She moved in with Rick again. Can you believe that? Especially after she spent two weeks with that guy from the yard. Oh, Michelle. Before we roll, because I'm back. Uh, Hi, Ellen. I uh, could find a towel. Hi, Eric. We're having plumbing problems. Oh, that's too bad. Hmm. In the detachment. Want to stay for coffee? No, thanks. I uh, better go. Well, good night. Good night. Good thanks night. for the berries. <laughs> Looks nice. Yeah. Maybe it was his bathroom. Why not? Pink and fuzzy? Look, he's got no water. They're working on the plumbing. That's one way to put it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I just think it's sort of weird, you know? Two cops? It's unnatural. Cher, what's natural to you? <laughs> A weekend in Simpson with Peaches LaRue. Five-star hotel with a jacuzzi and a big, beautiful... Never mind. Stay. <laughs> You're a sick man, Jer. It was bound to happen, going back and forth for supper all the time. They can have a meal together. Every Thursday night? Jack this morning. T. 
Chibi! Where is he? Oh, look. Nine o'clock. So. What are you, my new alarm clock? Kind of tired, huh? What happens when you work for a living? Ah, he's okay. He just hauled a full load yesterday. Well, if he's staying, then so am I. Blocking the light. Here, here, let me get that. Here, here. Oops. All right. I got it, okay? <laughs> Leon! You up there? Uh oh. I was just gonna. Sarah said not to use that arm. Leave the tool. Uh, it was our fault. We, uh... What's the matter with you? You're paying me. You want to get gangrene? Jesus, Leon. Maybe we should just close it up. We can haul water from my place. No, let's give it a shot here. Turn this. Okay. All right, here. They want to give it away. I got to cut some more. You want to come? What for? You can help me. Yeah, right. Maybe uh, I'd even pay you. How much? Well, see what you can do first. What about school? What about it? Come on, don't be a pussy. Don't call me that. Okay, okay. You coming or what? Big box. Almost got <laughs> Yeah. Well, I thought the water was supposed to come out of that little hole in the faucet. Yeah, yeah. Look, just this one joint. Can you uh, hold this pipe straight? I dropped my pliers. Why don't we just leave it? Oh, it's one last joint, then we got it. Come on, give us a hand. never said I'd do it all by myself. I said I'd pay you, didn't I? <sighs> How much are we getting paid for all this? I'll negotiate. 50-50? I'm doing all the damn work. It's my idea. Anybody could cut wood. So get plenty, don't sweat. Harris finds out? What about Peter? He'll blame Harris. I'm doing all the work, though. Blame me. Jesus! I said I'll do it. Well, then do it! So, is uh, Carmier up here to inspect the plumbing? What's he up here for? 
I have to check things out to see what people have to say. That should be okay, I guess. What should be okay? What people have to say about you. What's that supposed to mean? You know how people talk. About what? In New York. How much time you're spending together. What? Come on, Mitch. Mockets and Telegraph. We work together. After work. Thursday night dinners. What's he doing showering at your place? There's no water in the detachment. What the hell are you getting at? You, you could spend less time with him. Don't tell me what to do, Peter. Looks bad. For who? You. For you, you mean. Thanks. You find so? Soon. Well, it'll be a while yet. Maybe not. Let's get married. Yeah, stop it. You would if it wasn't for him, wouldn't you? Gonna let him run your life forever? No. How long? I think you should call his bluff. Tell him we're getting married. He'll go rant and roar for a while, but he'll get over it. He doesn't think it's right. Oh, please. His 16-year-old girlfriend is pregnant, and he doesn't think it's right. you choose Bad, considering I'm not a plumber. <clears throat> Still have to put the wall back together. You know, my dad was a real handy guy. He was always working around the house, eh? Mm -hmm. Well, I used to watch him. I guess it must have just sunk in. Are you running the shower? No. <laughs> guess I must have left the tap on, huh? What? Nah. What? Well, it's just, you know, how things start and where they end up. You think that's funny? A little, you know, a bit. I'm looking for the police. Any idea where they are? It has to do with the original plumbing, as uh, I understand that. Willie. He was uh, trying to save money, so he used cheap solder. And who was on duty? Sir? Yeah, while all this was going on. Uh, we both were. You were out of uniform. Well, I, I didn't want to get it wet, sir. Best laid plans. Hmm? 
And I suppose you were landing a hand? Yes, I was trying. Come on, any more coffee? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I, uh, I think we're out. I'll get some. No, never mind. Uh, actually, it's been, uh, things have been really slow since, well, except for the leak. Um... Would you like to do the rounds? Or would you like to rest? Up there? I'll clean it up. No, I'll stay at the motel. I just want a coffee. Uh, I'll go with you. I'll go by myself. Gave him a shot of adrenaline. You can go in. Thanks for saving my husband's life. So what happened? Anaphylactic shock. It's an extreme allergic reaction. To what? I don't know. Could be food. Medication? No. He has a penicillin allergy, so I put him on caramiacin. He's had it before. You know, she never meant it. I know what she meant. Get lost, eh? I don't have to. I said get lost. <sighs> I was talking to Betty Claybank today. She told me that if... I thought you were in the bush. She told me that if you lie in a tub full of hot water, that, you know, you feel sick for a while, but then you're okay. Do you want this kid? Doesn't matter if I want it. I'm gonna have it. I said I didn't try. Stay away from me. Here you go. The royal suite. Oh, royal. Uh, only the price, mon ami. Hmm? Anyway, it's all your fault. Oh, yes? If you weren't coming, they never would have tried to fix the leak. And you'd still have water? Oh, well, we have plenty of water. There's plenty of water all over the floor. Don't worry, Andre. We'll take good care of you. What's Eric gonna do? He's got no water. Stay in the shelves. No, he's not. He was there last night. To use the shower. What about the pink bathroom? Everything all right, sir? Hey, yeah, how's Leon? Uh, better. Better, thanks. He's home. Mm -hmm. Shirley, Kelsey. You sure love to talk. It's my hobby. So how was your coffee, sir? Like always. And where would you like to go now, sir? Pay my respects to the nurse. Excuse me, sir. About Constable Kennedy. Well, <laughs> I uh, know we must have looked kind of silly, but uh, she really is in good shape. As a matter of fact, she's in better shape than she was before. I'd oh, say I know how good she is. I trained her. Well, she's just a little nervous, sir. <laughs> We'll talk later. Hmm? I looked better before. How'd it go? 
Great. Hard work. Why don't you like Harris? He likes you. The two of you have a nice day while I was busting my butt. Could have been nice if it wasn't for you. Well, glad to see the taxpayers are getting their money's worth. Maybe I'll marry him. What'll you do then? Go ahead. Marry him. See if I care. It'd be good to have a man around this house. Well, a little late for that, eh? He's good to me. And Marie. And Etsu. And he'd be good to you, too, if you'd let him. I told you. You want to marry him? Go ahead. I'm getting out of here anyway. So why should I care? Don't start that again. You think I'm going to stay here while that goof moves in? Think again. I can hear you both down the street. Good. Maybe Harris the goof will hear I don't want him here. I do. Good night. Good night. Good night, Anna. No listening to the radio. Uh, Twelve, eh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How's the coffee? Mm. Really best in town. <laughs> Sorry about today. Oh, you didn't have to worry. Internal Affairs has cleared you of any wrongdoing. That case is closed. So? Why am I here? <laughs> How would you like to go to another community? You've been doing good things here. It's been noticed. Maybe it's time for your own detachment. Where? Oh, somewhere in the north. Unless you'd rather go south. But for sure, a native community. You don't think it's a good idea? I, I don't want to leave here. Why? It's a promotion. I live here. This is my home. Listen, Michelle, you're a Mountie. Everybody moves around. Standard rotation of personnel. What have people been saying? About? Me. Only good things. Come on, Andre, tell me the truth. This is about the shooting. This is about your career. It's time to consider your next posting. You can't get attached to one place, you know that. Oh, I gotta go. <clears throat> it's always a shock, I know, but... Uh, think about it. When do we get paid? Is this all the wood you cut yesterday? We had to fix the saw. You subcontracting now? No, Joey's just helping out. What's he paying you, Joey? Hey, that's between us. When do I get paid? Right on. A promotion? It's not a promotion. He just wants me out of here. Why? The shooting. You were cleared. If anyone's in trouble here, it's me. I'm the commanding officer here. Why didn't he come and talk to me first? How many policemen are there in Montreal? Oh, I haven't been there for a while, but I'd say thousands. Thousands? Yeah. And, uh, we'll <coughs> big French, but why the hell didn't you come to me first? Huh? Let's walk. Bye, dear. Bye. With all I do, respect, well, sir. First of all, I'm under no obligation to discuss this with you. No, just professional courtesy. Well, so is rotating personnel, as you well know. Without notice? Oh, you're well integrated into this community now. You don't need her. Yeah, well, the town does. Oh, second of all. 
As I told Constable Kennedy, this is a promotion and she should be happy. And so should you. She's not. And she'll get over it. And so will you. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Oh, please. We all know all these things happen, but maybe a little discretion might have been in order. Is that what these people have been telling you? About what? Oh, shut up, I? Furthest thing from the truth. I forgot. You did undercover for years. You were good. I resent that remark. I resent very much the position you put me in. I've known Michelle since she was a little girl. You're in charge here. You should have considered the consequences. I ship you out on the basis of a rumor. He can do whatever he wants. An unsubstantiated rumor? We'll file a grievance. Peter. What? Come in. Hi, Sarah. You were supposed to come see me this morning. What the hell is this? I made it. I asked her. This is probably what sent him into shock in the first place. It's just some roots. Well, whatever it is, I don't want it on his arm. Take these starting tonight. We don't want that stuff. It's probably okay. No, she almost killed you. Excuse me, I was the one who got him breathing again. You gave him penicillin and you know he's allergic. It was caramyosin and he's had it before. One tablet every four hours. And wipe that pond scum off your arm before you go into shock again. No. It wasn't me. I didn't even talk to him. Then what was that business yesterday? That's what they were saying. Well, what they're saying isn't true. Everyone thinks it is. Maybe this is why he came here in the first place. Maybe somebody... What? Maybe somebody called him and yelled at him. Stop it, you two. All right. Now what? All right. What'd you tell Cormier? About what? Eric and Michelle. Nothing. Hey! Did you call him in Yellowknife? No. And tell him what? Cormier thinks they're having an affair. And he's transferring Michelle. You're kidding. Any of you call him? What'd you tell him? We were schmoozing. You said they were living together. I said he used your shower. I said that. You said he was staying there. In a pink bathrobe? What else? Hey, don't give me this business. <laughs> Everybody knows. What? We're losing Michelle because of this. And it's not true. You were in Yellowknife last week. So was Harris. So was Peter. What? It's not true. Look, I understand. Uh, he's a nice guy. He's single. It's not true. People think it's true. Well, that's not my fault. No? No. Well, true or not, it's the same thing. If people think it's true and I do nothing, it means I'm condoning it. Well, but that's not even... It doesn't matter. It's how it looks. But I have to protect the force. Oh. And that's more important than the truth. I think it'll do you good to work somewhere else. Well, after a while, you can come back. 
Who told you we were sleeping together? That's why you're here, isn't it? I'm here to offer you a promotion. Come on, Andre. I know you. I know how you operate. Who was it? Our stamp links forever. Our employee of the month has been selling our firewood. And pocketing the money. The band's money. I want it back. It's your idea. You take care of it. Okay, uh, I give you the impression that uh, Michelle and Eric were shacked up. I didn't mean to. Well, you all gave me that impression. Are they? No, they're good friends. What's wrong with that? As far as we know, nothing's going on. So why all the talk? Well, there's smoke, there's fire. Sometimes it's just smoke. We don't want to lose her. Eric, neither. Okay, I appreciate the input. Would you mind telling these people that I didn't call you? He didn't call me. Who did? Who says anybody did? Was it anybody here? Uh -oh. See? You hear anybody say come in? Game's up, sonny boy. What? That wood doesn't belong to you. Doesn't belong to you neither. I trusted you. Well, I guess that makes it pretty stupid, doesn't it? You're fired. What happened? The wood was for the band, so we could give it to people that needed it. He's been selling it. Where's the money? Get out of my house. Give me the goddamn money or have you charged with theft. Give it to him. I gave it to you. I don't want it. It's in your purse. You see? She doesn't need you. Let's talk outside. Take a hike. Are you afraid of me? Your mother and I love each other. One of these days, she's going to realize what you're doing to her. And we're going to get married. And you better get used to the idea. Stop leaking. Hmm? Sir? As the commanding officer of this detachment, it is of my opinion that Constable Kennedy should stay in Lynx River. Why? Because her work in this community is far more important than a bunch of uh, rumors. Uh, in my opinion, sir. I've called Chris Benal. I'm getting a lawyer. Hey, 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 I never said I was transferring. I'm getting a lawyer from Edmonton. Sure. It's not transferring you. I just said I thought it was a good idea. 
Well, then what was all this? A joke? Oh, not at all. Plane's here. Okay. I'll say I came uh, to reprimand you about the plumbing. Hmm? Don't make a liar out of me. Michelle's not leaving. That's great, huh? I don't know, is it? Why did you call him? Oh, it had to be you. You're supposed to set an example. You have a responsibility. <laughs> but it's not true. Sometimes this place just drives me nuts. <laughs> I know what you mean. Well, here's to running water. You know who it was, don't you? Sarah. Jesus. You don't seem too surprised. I saw your light was on. Um, no, it's okay. I was gonna call you. Um, I forgot I said I'd help Ellen do her baking on Thursday night, so I need to cancel dinner. No, no, um, no, that's okay. I, um, yeah, I'd forgotten I was supposed to go fishing with Joe, so, uh, yeah, um. Okay, so we'll make it another time. No, okay. All right. Good night. Good night. <laughs> 